Hey everybody, Pastor Mark here. It's Wednesday, and you know that means it's time for a check-in. Today is no ordinary Wednesday, though. Today is the day of Epiphany, the day where we observe and celebrate the visit of the Magi to the Christ child. These were the guys who noticed a funny star in the sky and had the courage to follow it, and they, that star led them to the baby Jesus. So we celebrate that story today, and we also participate in the chalk blessing, where we put this inscription in chalk, this kind of holy graffiti over our doorposts, next to our doors, wherever it's appropriate for you. You should have gotten a bag in your Christmas party pack that had a epiphany order of service and a little piece of chalk. Feel free to grab those and use that to chalk your own door and participate in this epiphany service of blessing. As I record this, like many of you, I'm watching the news and I'm shocked and I'm saddened to see what's going on in our nation's capital. We as a church stand against violence in any form, especially this political violence. We support the peaceful transfer of power and we stand with those who are responding to this crisis. It's hard to say, it's hard to say anything to this moment. This is uh, a tragedy. We stand against this and I encourage you all to stay safe and stay sane um, as we watch these events unfold. So with that in our hearts and our minds, prayers for the nation and prayers for the world, prayers for the revelation of the Christ child in our own midst. Let's pray these words of blessing together. May peace be to this house and to all who enter here. By wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. As we prepare to ask God's blessing on this household, let us listen to the words of Scripture. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The Word of God became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. And now I invite you to do the same inscription on your own door or nearby your, uh, your door or the entrance to your dwelling. This inscription is made above the entrance in chalk. 20, 20. the sign of the cross, C, M, B, sign of the cross, and 21. The Magi of old, known as Caspar, Malchiar, and Balthazar, followed the star of God's Son who came to dwell among us 2,021 years ago. Bless this house and remain with us through this new year. Amen. And so there you have it. As simple as that, it's the Epiphany Chalk Blessing. It's an ancient, old form of blessing that Christians have practiced throughout the century. I think we kind of set it aside for a while, but I'm excited to pick it back up with you as we ask God's blessing on our homes for this new year. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for staying in touch. Thanks for being the church. I'm grateful for every one of you, for your prayers, your support, and all of the ways that we're able to be together, even though we're not physically able to gather at this time.